Hi, my name is John Rouse. I drive global business development for AI services for AWS, supporting content moderation and compliance use cases. Today, I am with Lana Zong, and we're gonna cover content moderation compliance in the world of user-generated content for games. Today, 80% of all web content is user-generated content, ranging from gaming, social media, online forums, and companies are struggling to deal with a sudden increase in volume, complexity, and costs associated to content moderation. So what are customers doing to cope with the cost, volume, and complexity? They're turning to AI, ML, and deep learning to gain the accuracy and efficiency needed to keep online environments, customers, and information safe while reducing content moderation costs. As human moderation um, based content moderation alone cannot scale to meet operational needs. So what is content moderation? Content moderation is the process of reviewing and moderating user-generated content online platforms to ensure that it meets certain standards and guidelines. This includes removing inappropriate or offensive content and enforcing community guidelines and terms and services. So why should you care about content moderation? Today, consumers are creating and consuming massive amounts of user-generated content as part of their daily online routine. Take gaming, for example. There are more than 2.7 billion gamers worldwide playing video games at least once daily, creating one of the largest platforms for user-generated content that is growing by the second. Like most communities, gaming companies are developing positive play guidelines to help make sure their games and services are an enjoyable experience for all players. They're looking to prevent inappropriate content such as hate speech, profanity, bullying, and other behaviors that lower the safety and engagement in your gaming space. Additionally, moderating user-generated vowels such as nicknames, user profiles, and community forums keep gamers engaged and active and without motive to leave the game's ecosystem. Community health encapsulates all the activities that lead to a more positive and inclusive community. For most customers, that journey starts with content moderation and a desire to significantly reduce the amount of toxic, disruptive behavior in their communities. So let's get personal for a second. Have you ever witnessed or experienced toxic interactions when playing games? And if so, how did that interaction change your perception of that game? AWS's content moderation AI services can be leveraged to streamline and automate your moderation workflows with the fully managed AI services that include Amazon Recognition, Transcribe, Comprehend, Translate, and Augmented AI to proactively detect inappropriate, unwanted, or offensive content at scale and protect sensitive information. Amazon Recognition has a strong set of APIs like content moderation, in the Content Moderation API, you can use it to detect inappropriate or offensive content in images and videos. The Recognition Content Moderation labels are organized in a hierarchical taxonomy that provides both top-level categories such as suggestive and nuanced second-level categories that identify specific types of content such as female swimwear or partial nudity. As online communities facilitate communication among their users through voice and chat functionality, which sometimes can lead to hate speech and harassment, Amazon Transcribe offers a, a toxicity detection API, a near real-time solution that can flag and classify toxic content across seven categories, including sexual harassment, threat, abuse, insult, and graphics. And by flagging harmful language helps organizations maintain a safe and inclusive online environment. Now I'm going to hand it over to Lana, who's going to provide a demo on content moderation. Hi everyone, my name is Lana Zhang, a senior solutions architect from AWS AI specialist team focused on content moderation. I will show you a quick demo of how you can utilize AWS AI services to moderate user-generated content, UGC. I'm using this live stream demo, mimicking popular live stream platforms such as Twitch. As a streamer, I turn on my camera and start streaming how I play a video game. And there's viewers watching me play the video game and uh, actively commenting in the chat room. 
As you can see, there's multiple things could go wrong. And let's see how we can moderate them using AI services from AWS, starting from the vision portion. So I'm holding this image in front of the camera, uh, assuming I'm smoking in front of the camera. And you can uh, pay attention around the camera. It shows a moderation warning shows tobacco smoking with 99% of the confidence. So this detection is powered by AWS AI service called Recognition, a managed computer vision service offers pre-trained model uh, for image and uh, video vision moderation. It supports a long list of text autonomy, including most of the popular moderation categories, such as nudity, suggestive, violence, hate, a uh, hate symbol, etc. The second feature I want to show you is text moderation. So for example, in the chat room, things could go wild really soon. Whenever it's about a text moderation, the most uh, common issue customer consider is toxicity. I'm typing this over simplified example. So go to hell. So you can see on the fly, a leveraging the similar pattern, the demo will send a message to the backend service, Amazon Comprehend, a managed natural language processing service offers a pre-trained API for toxicity detection. And then my demo received the toxicity response and stopped me from sending it out. In the real world application, you can still let the user send it out, but mask it, or you let them send it out, but send a warning to the user. The third feature I want to show you is audio moderation, utilizing AWS AI service Transcribe, which is a managed speech to text service, uh, support real time and asynchronized uh, uh, speech to text transcription, and also uh, with toxicity analysis built in. For the demo purpose, I was about to say something not so proper, which I don't mean to apologize in advance. I hate you. Go to hell. Okay, that's about it. And then you can see on the fly, transcribe, transcribe the what I just said into text and automatically redact the profane words I just mentioned. All right, that's a quick demo show you how you can utilize AWS AI services to moderate user generated content in real time. Thanks, Lana, for that great demo. So here are a few final thoughts on using AWS's AI services like Amazon Recognition, Transcribe, Comprehend to help moderate your gaming content. As we know, toxicity and unwanted content in gaming is a major issue that impacts players' experience and can drive people away from games. AI services provide an opportunity to automate scale moderation to make online gaming safer. So to get started, you just need an AWS account, enable the services, and start making API calls with your content. The, all the AI processing is handled in the cloud. So next steps. When you have a moment, um, please reach out to your local AWS account manager to set up a meeting with the AWS content moderation team. As well, take a look at the content moderation webpage. As well, there you can find the content moderation ebook. Here's where, when you log into the machine learning page, where you'll um, see the content moderation over here. Again, thank you so much for taking time to, to watch this video on AWS's content moderation. Have a great day.